The 15X scanner, while silently monitoring a fire channel, has the ability to alarm upon the receipt of a programmed two-tone page. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to set up the 15X scanner for the fire tone out mode as well as some of the limitations of that configuration. That was three Motorola quick call tones you just heard. And here's the list from where they're derived. And they come in read groups. These things were actually at one time uh, detected tone-wise by, I believe, metal reads in a little uh, compartment you plugged into your 30-pound radio, maybe 40-pound radio. And so you've got a, a read group one with a bunch of frequencies in two, three, four, down to two to 11. These frequencies, by the way, are listed in Hertz. Most of the combinations, the high-low tones, are picked out of a single read group. So you might have maybe, oh, I don't know, uh, 953.7 as a low or 1034.7 as a high. And sometimes it's reversed. They'll put the high one first and the, and the low one second. Other things that happen, you'll find shops that have picked just sort of random frequencies. And one uh, ambulance service I've got around here chooses 524.6 for their second tone on every page. And then they sort of pick kind of randomly uh, all over the place for their first tone. On, uh, later in the video, I'll show you how to derive these tones off your, off your scanner so you can utilize them to uh, work with your, uh, with, your, with your scanning. I'm going to use the free scan software which is a no-cost package available from radioreference.com to uh, set the information in my scanner to use the fire tone out uh, system. And I'll start by going to the scanner tab. Uh, I'll choose set up scanner options. And this window will come up, set scanner options. And it's got this set of tabs here. I'm going to fire tone out and I get this window. And this is the window where I'm going to select all the information for the fire tone out, including the frequency, the two tones, the delay on how long I want the uh, scanner to display what it found when it, uh, when it hits a live one, uh, the modulation, alert tones, alert tone level, and how it's going to flash. And um, AGC, I'm going to leave that on. I haven't really discovered that much or investigated that much. This one I'm leaving on. This one, if you get a, if you, if you get a live channel, uh, it'll port the uh, audio out to the re record audio plug on the back of the scanner. Okay, starting here, I'm going to look for engine 41. Engine 41 lives on a frequency of 1.5 uh, 154.400. It's got an A tone of 788.5 got a B tone of 569.1 I'm going to leave the delay set for 2 the modulation is going to be narrow band FM I like the alert tone 7 I'm going to put it up rather loud I'm going to put it on alert tone level 9 I don't have a color choice on the 15X so I'm not going to do anything there the flash, I'm going to set it for fast, and I'm going to leave the, these over here alone. So there I have one, uh, one engine set up on this frequency, engine 41. Here's the fire tone out option set with a full contingent of 10 engines, 10 separate tone combinations. And everything else remains pretty much the same. The frequency is the same for all these engines. They're all part of the same uh, fire district, so to speak. And so basically, when this scanner is in the fire tone out mode, it's going to sit on this one frequency, and it's going to be looking for these tones to come in. And when one of these tones does come in, it, it will alarm. The scanner is in the tone out standby mode, camped out on one frequency, and waiting for a 
previously programmed combination of two-tone frequencies to come in, at which time it'll set off an alarm. 41 medical aid difficulty breathing, 1629 theater between 7th and Windsor. Okay, now that it's programmed up with the 10 engines, the goal is to get it into the computer. So I'll go from this screen by clicking OK back to the main program. I'll find this little portable scanner with the up arrow, upload the scanner, went already. And I'm going to erase all the systems and settings on the, on the scanner. It's, to me, it's cleaner that way. But you do have to have everything on files before you do that or you lose everything. Okay, so I clicked uh, Erase All System and Settings. I'll start that upload, which will be basically a blank, empty upload. And it's happy with that. I've got my green arrow. So now I'm going to click Cal Fire. I'm going to click Add Only, Do Not Overwrite, Start Upload. <clears throat> And away it goes. I've got my green arrow and uh, everything is functioning normally. So far, I've configured the program. I've uploaded the program to the scanner. And now the thing to do is to uh, go to the tone out mode itself where I can start looking for having the uh, scanner scan for two tone pages. And the way you do that, one of two ways, hit menu, scroll down to Tone out four, I think. Tone out four, and here you get two choices. You really, you're going to, you're going to pick tone out standby. That's the mode it goes into when it's looking for fire pages. Tone out setup is if you're going to set it up manually from the front panel. So we're going to go into tone out standby, and there we are. You can see the numbers are moving. It'll go through uh, all ten. Uh, uh, two-tone uh, combinations and go around and around. If you're not actually looking at it scanning, that's more of a display. It's also good to know that it right now is locked on to the one frequency that was put into the uh, into the program, which in this case is 154.400. It's, it's only it's looking for any two-tone page that's been programmed in on that one frequency. The second method to get access to the tone out mode to use to monitor the fire channel or whatever channel you're trying to monitor is by setting up a search key. Two keys are, you have three of them, they're these three first buttons here, one, two, and three on the number pad, and you have to set that up before you can use it. But once you, you only have to set it up once and then you're done. And the way to do that is by hitting menu, rotate down to search for, rotate down to set search key, Set search key number one, which is this guy, and then go looking for tone out. Let's see if we can find it here without a. Uh, oops, where'd it go? There it is. Tone out. Okay, and that's it. One trick you have to terminate your programming by hitting E. Once you do that, you're in. Okay, I'll set it back to scanning now. And here's another trick they don't really point out really well to activate that, sit, that uh, search key, you have to hit hold function one. And then you'll notice it's in and it starts doing its one to 10 display. And to get out of it, scan. And to get back in, hold function one. Here's the program load I just put together. One frequency and 10 different two-tone combinations. So in this configuration, the scanner is going to look consistently on one frequency and it will scan or look for these various combinations. Here's a different tone outload, which will have a slightly different personality when you uh, apply it. In this particular load, I put two frequencies, 146.4 quadruple zero, the first four channels. 445.95,000, the second four channels, and the last two are blank. And so when I start this thing up, put it into the uh, tone out search mode, turn out, tone out standby mode, it will s start here. It will, it will look for uh, two tone combinations 
on these four channels only. It will not go down to these uh, channels. I'm calling them channels because I don't know what else to call them. Now, if I turn the knob on the uh, uh, scanner and leave it sitting on this particular position, then it will scan from here to here, back and forth, and it will ignore these. So, but you can only do one at a time. You could conceivably put 10 frequencies on here and 10 different codes, but you would only be able to monitor one at a time. I didn't actually try that, but I think that's possible. So that's just another uh, facet of this particular mode. Here's the scanner with two frequencies in the tone out mode. First of all, I'll get to the tone out mode once again by going uh, hold function one. And there we are, it is going through its list. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit hold and I'm going to rotate it up to one. And it'll start it'll start uh, going through its list once again. But once it gets to four, it'll rotate back to one. So it's, it's ignoring the second frequency. It's only looking at 146.400. Now, if I put, if I hit hold again and rotate it down to five, the first 445 frequency, it'll start rotating once again. And this time it'll get down to eight and it'll go right back up to five. So now it's ignoring the other frequency. So you can have <clears throat> only one frequency at a time, but you can not select it. And I assume you could put all, put 10 frequencies and 10 tones of this thing. But if you did that, you would only be able to look at one frequency and, and listen for one tone at a time. The other thing worth knowing about the scanner is you cannot run tone out in the background while you're doing normal scanning in the foreground. You get to pick one or the other and that's it. Here's a setup that allows the detection of two-tone page frequencies on the channel of interest. And basically you just have one entry line that's got to deal with and this one I gave it a name and the name means nothing it doesn't do anything except it's just a name I gave it two-tone search frequency that's the frequency you're interested in this one is 154.4 400 4000 whatever this is the important part leaving a zero there and a zero there tells the machine you want you want to you want it to detect whatever comes in as far as two-tone pages are concerned uh, this stuff over here is somewhat meaningless, except maybe for that one. You might leave that one on, uh, well, that on narrowband FM or possibly auto. I think auto's in there. Yeah, either one will work. Um, and the rest of them are just blank. So that's the whole uh, setup as far as the uh, entering on information on this screen. Here's the 15x scanner in action detecting the two-tone frequencies as they come off the uh, fire channel. dispatchers are a hard-working lot at times they dispatch two three four five engines on a single dispatch when that happens one of the shortcomings of the tone out mode surfaces when these multiple tone combinations are detected by the 15x scanner unless the fire transmitter drops for a tick between tone combinations the scanner will only detect the first tone combination here's an example There is the first A and B tone pair that's shown up. And here as it rings to the second one, you'll notice it remains on the first tone pair and never actually registers the second one. The way I resolve this is with an app from cool.com, also called CoolSoft. The Cool Tuner is actually a guitar tuner. It's a free app, but it's very flexible on input levels so it's not hard to set up where it actually reads correctly. And you can see down at the bottom where it says 109.9 Hertz. That's where the frequency read out shows up at. Here is the cool tuner in action.
admittedly, this, uh, this process is a little hands-on, but it can be done. You basically focus on the digits on the left side of the decimal point when the tones go by, and then for the digit on the right side of the uh, decimal point, you refer back to the read chart, and you can pick it out there. Uh, it's a little uh, hands-on, like I say, but it does work. Well, that's it for the tone out mode. I hope I didn't leave anything out, and I hope that's helpful. So, so long for now. <laughs>